Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to make cobs or cobblers or whatever you want to call them wherever you are in the world. And don't forget your recipe is below the video in the description and also you'll find other things down there as well that may interest you. Anyway we'll get right on with the video. <laughs> And for your recipe, 906 grams of organic flour. This is shipped in mill flour, by the way. 600 grams of water, 14 grams of salt, seven grams of organic bread improver, seven grams of sugar. Now that's an optional. If you want to add sugar or not, that's up to you. 28 grams of baker's yeast. You can use dried yeast if you like but you'll have to check the recipe for the dried yeast yourself because sometimes the dried yeast varies between manufacturers. And also if you want to add seven grams of fat. And before we start mixing the recipe, the most important thing to remember guys is the temperatures of everything. An optimal temperature is room temperature, which is around about between 17 to 20 Celsius. That is just almost a spot on temperature. If you get everything at that temperature, you're almost on the money. Well, we'll now get our ingredients into the bowl. First, we'll add in our flour, then add it in your yeast. Always keep your yeast away from the salt because if the salt touches the yeast, it will kill it. And then we add all the rest of the ingredients in, and then we just add in our water. We're now gonna be mixing this for around about 10 minutes. Now, halfway through, we're gonna be stopping the machine and just checking it to make sure the consistency is just right. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, just want a tad more flour in this. Not much. like your little machines you need to scrape them down same as me with this small amount I've got to scrape the machine down right dough's ready we'll get it onto the table And all we're going to do is now cover it over and leave it to double its size. Though this dough's got bread improver in it, it's not going to work as fast as it would do if you were doing bread rolls. So normally, using this type of improver, it will usually take around about 30 minutes to bulk. And that's usually around about right, give or take. It can take longer depending on the temperature. If you've got these temperatures right, you can almost guarantee 30 minutes you can use it. But you just really need to wait until it bulks. I would have said it could take longer, it depends on the temperature. We'll see if the cob dough's ready. Oh yeah, that's ready. And now we can scale that off. You're gonna be wanting to be scaling this off at around about one pound or 400 grams. If you've got a bit of dough over, you can bake it or whatever you want to do with it or save it up for another dough. So with the cobs, all we're going to be doing is moulding these round. Very simple. Get your dough. Let's move that out of the way. And basically speaking, just push it together like this to start with if it makes it easier for you. And then all we're going to do, using that part rubbing against the table, again on this side, and all we're doing is pushing the dough into the table, like this. I've well, got one of my moving tables. See, I'm doing it one-handed for you guys because obviously most of you will probably only be one-handed. Uh, this is my right hand. All right, and the idea is to get a little, like a little tail on it. All right, 
Now I'll do it left-handed for you guys who's left-handed. And again, you want to get that little tail. And all we're doing is get, basically, you're getting the air out of it. That's it. What we're going to do is spray the tray with some prep spray. You can get this off my eBay store. Put them onto your tray and put them in the prover. Or you can simply put a box over the top. Now the proofing temperature for the bread is around about 25 Celsius, give or take. You can go a bit higher if you want but that would be just about right. And they'll take around about one hour to prove up. Right, the cobs are ready for the oven, guys. And all we need to do with these is cut the tops straight across. Like that. So they've got a nice little cross on the top. Now we're gonna be baking these in an oven temperature of around 230 Celsius for around about 30 minutes. We'll get them in. Now when you're baking at home, the same thing with these type of ovens, though it's 30 minutes to bake, always check them after around about 15 minutes and turn them around in the oven so you bake the other half. Because the same in these ovens, I can get the problem where this oven might has dropped in temperature, say, and this oven's hotter. So I have to take them out of this one and put them in the top. Same thing when I'm at home, my electric oven, I have to turn them round in the oven because one half of the oven just seems to bake differently to the other half of the oven. Oh, I don't get it. Right, the cobs are ready, we'll get them out. Hmm. Don't look too bad organic, whatever organic is supposed to look like. Well, this is the Shipton Mill flour, which has made these cobs. It smells very nice. You can smell its English wheat in this. It is got a different smell to it. And also, it doesn't have the lift like Canadian flour. But for English wheat off Prince Charles's estate, it ain't bad. Well, there you go, guys. Easy organic bread. Wasn't that simple? Yeah. Now the flour I used was from Shipton Mill. It's their traditional organic white flour. Lots of people use this stuff. There is other brands on the market. Now, if you do know some good quality flour that you're using, just let me know down below the video and at least I can have a go with them. I'm, or you've already using some I've already used. Um, my normal flour is shipped in mill, but it's specially made for bakeries. Uh, but this stuff is stuff you lot can buy out there. It's sold to everybody, this stuff. And um, oh, I suppose it's good. It turns out a nice loaf of bread, I'm not saying it's bad. To be honest, normal bread looks better. <laughs> and it probably tastes better. Organic has got a flavor of its own. And don't forget your recipe is below the video in the description. And also whilst you're down there, you may find some that interests you in playlists. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters. This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!